Uh, so you you said um, Dame and Sam and uh, they ain't never come holler at you. HBO ain't never come holler at you directly. I thought they had to, you know, at least, you know, get your permission or something like that. Like you had to, you know, put your signature down on a dotted line for them, you know what I mean? To imitate yeah, you they, like that. That's what they did, that's mm. I heard they said Marlowe Stanfield, right? Mm. So they said, oh, well, they ain't his real name. His real uh, name Marlo Bates, right? Right. Okay, right. Marlo Stanfield, right? Well, uh, check this out, man. Marlo Stanfield. Guess how they say. Marlo Stanfield, a.k.a. Marlo Bix, like Marlo mm-hmm. Bix is my alias thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one on papers and all that shit, they locked me up, uh, Marlo Stanfield. Mm-hmm. You know, they locked me up a few times, I got papers on that shit, records on that police reports and all that shit with Marlo Stanfield. Then when they found out I was Marlo Bix, you know, with the same person, they said, oh shit, we fucked up. And you got the paper where they scratched out uh, Stanfield and put Bix, mm-hmm. all that shit. Right. Homicide police and all that shit, and they got transcripts where live informers and shit got on there and lied, you know, mm. and um said um, I killed this, I killed that, you know, Marlo Stanfield did this, Marlo Stanfield did that, and once they learned out my last name was Bates, so then they start saying Bates at some point, you know, mm-hmm. so all that shit, you know, so I'm telling people, yeah, I was good at what I did because everything I do, I mean and toward and toward and try to do the best I can and knowing, you know, what I do, you right. know? But shit, mm-hmm. I don't want them no young dudes to live the life that I live, you know, because the world out there is totally different now. And, you know, they got a lot of guns, a lot of cruddy people, you got family members, you got friends, everybody trying to get you. If they mm-hmm. don't like you, they put your ass behind bars or get somebody put a bullet in your head, get in the back of your seat of your car, and blow your brains out, mm-hmm. you know? Family member holding your money, they would try to have you killed and put somebody on you and kill you so they can keep the money. Mm-hmm. You know, all kinds of shit now, man. And it ain't worth it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It ain't worth it. Since I've been to jail, you want to hear about that? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm here for it all. Yeah, so I went to jail. See, I got locked up. You know what I mean? What they did, they said we was one of the wisest organizations there was in Baltimore and the most fierce, right? Mm-hmm. And um, what happened? Yeah. They had people to lie because it was election time. And what they did, they got people in the uh, people in the community. Ain't nobody in Westport said nothing about we did this or we did that. You know, they got line rack, line rack motherfuckers from uh, election time. I mean, Murphy Holmes, man, Kevin Baker, they got him on there to go ahead and say that um, he seen me kill a motherfucker and then shoot the witness in the foot. You mm. know, 
Right. I say, come on, man. Who want to believe some shit like this? I'm going to kill him. Who they say I am? Why I'm going to shoot him off? I'm kill him and shoot him in the foot. Right. And let him live and go down saying all that. And this motherfucker was living for 34 years. That was the person they said I was. He wouldn't be around. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, it just lies, man. You know, Kirk Smoke and everybody moved up that year. Kirk Smoke, the one now, now they say he, uh, uh, what you call that shit? Um, he teaches that he's a law professor. He's a law professor. I said, I don't care what he is now. Who you talking about, Martin O'Malley? Huh? Who you talking about, Martin no, O'Malley? Oh, Kurt oh, Smoke. Oh, Kurt, oh, you said Kurt, Kurt Smoke. Smoke. Yeah. He was teaching, yeah. He, um, a law professor. He now teaches at Smithsonian University. Right. Right. He was teaching at some college, right? Mm -hmm. But all um, the shit he did to me, he set me up. He was part of a conspiracy. He conspired against me to put me in prison. So everybody moved up that year. Mm -hmm. He became, he was, uh, the man shape became governor. Kurt Smoke became mayor. And all that shit, and the uh, state's attorneys, they became lawyers and everything. All of them took a picture back in the goddamn 80s, mm. you know, 87 and stuff like that. So in the newspaper article, then Judge Hamlet, I wrote him and said, man, y'all set me up. And I told him how he did it, who all was with him, and, and all that shit. And I said, you better get me and my brother out of jail because I know what your ass did. And so this motherfucker went and committed suicide. Dang. And um, he... Before he commits suicide, because my court date was coming up, and he commits suicide like I say about three or four months before I went to court, and I ain't been back yet. So a lot of them, a lot of people don't even want to take the case or none of that shit, because they don't want me back out there, because a lot of them going to be exposed to what they did and set me up, you know. So he committed suicide, then a ballistic man committed suicide, Joseph Caparo committed suicide. He was a fraud. He went through hundreds of goddamn cases. Saying he was a government listed man and ain't no shit for real. He ain't had no degrees or paperwork on there that he finished those completed some classes and shit. There's so much going on there. So that corrupt stuff, all that stuff took place way back in the day. But they trying to say he just um, started doing this 1999, well, I mean 1991 to 2007. I say, shit, I got locked up in 86. This motherfucker was doing that shit. Then I had a double homicide in 81. And they tried to lock me up and I beat them murders, but he was uh, went to trial saying about the bullets I had, the gun, I shot the dude like this, and I had another gun, and all this shit. And he lied all the way, I got all the people showing he lied way back then. They tried to act like he just started lying in 91. Mm. I say bullshit, he was lying in 81. 81 all the way up to the head of the day till he committed suicide. And back to Judge Hammond right now, mm. he say, he say the only reason why he did it uh, the only reason why he committed suicide, he left a 24, a 24, 22 or 24 page letter saying the only reason why he committed suicide is that, you know, he said he committed suicide because he had hell time to leave. So mm. he had doctors and everybody in the newspaper put articles and said, a person with hell time to leave don't know he got hell time. Right. And one of the women said, a person with hell time don't, can't write no 26 page, 20, um, 22, 24 page letter like this. You know, and then one woman say he must have did something awfully bad for him to commit suicide. And another person say, she, you know, he committed suicide. He he ain't care what nobody thought about him or nothing like that. So why would he commit suicide? And I was ever reading that shit. I said that motherfucker. He know why he committed suicide? Cause I told him, motherfucker, you set me up in the world. I'm gonna know what you did to me. You know, and I can prove it. Cause I got papers and all that shit, transcripts. And what he said, he thanked the state's attorney. He thanked the police department. He thanked the homicide people. He thanked that everybody on there for uh, taking us down. Mm. You know what I mean? And yeah, and Kirk Smoke, his goddamn ass, he had a goddamn brother. This is how they put the investigation on us. You know how they had a uh, squad to kick in doors looking for drug to drug task for people. Mm -hmm. The file tobacco people, they kicked in some doors, right? Mm -hmm. And when they kicked in the door, they got Kirk Smoke brother ass out there, right? With a key or heroin on his ass. So one of the police is called Kirk Smoke, and he was on state turn that time. I said, no, man, your brother was in this bus. So you know what he said, man, oh, you got to get rid of that shit, man. You got to leave it alone. Because that's when they turned the case on um, to Mary Sanford, which is my brother. And um, they had me, and, and, and Tamara, they had me, they had Joe Edison, and a hundred more people, right? Mm. And they said they great kick them to Murray Stanford organization. They kicked in a hundred and something doors. They find nothing and all that shit. They say it was a link in the, um, in the department. Somebody tipped us off that um, they was coming. You know what I mean? Mm. They, we had people all hooked up and all that kind of shit. You know, they was crooked and all this shit. I say, well, my motherfuckers, they know, they know what they did. So that's how that came about. And then they stopped making the wire 
about overseas and all this shit about drugs coming. They had people coming in with the creeks. With, uh, with me, they were saying that I was supposed to get drugs from Africa and the creeks down the waterfront. But they switched it around and put, you know me, they put the goddamn um, alien, uh, uh, you know, uh, alien, the people in there that put in there about trying to sell people, transport people, and all that shit, and uh, trafficking people. So then, um, a part of that, what else they were saying? They were saying something that shit. So, uh, they were saying a lot of stuff in that motherfucker, man, and I say it's crazy. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But I'm going to prove all that shit, man. What they did, they set me up, man. Man, they, you know? that's how them people's is, man. They they do whatever they gotta do to railroad you. Yeah, and they doing that shit here today. Uh-huh. You know? That's why I'm trying to tell the young people, man, they, that's what they doing and they ass lock you up, your ass will never come home. Uh-huh. You know? Damn, man. man. So, tell me you about my ass up, man. Huh? I said, tell me about that um all uh, that program you got Tell going on. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? I done lost every goddamn day. 
and the, the money they said I had, you know what I mean? Motherfucker ran off on me with that. Mm. You'll see in my book, you know, Ball speaks out for the first time. You'd be surprised who ran off with the goddamn money. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, five million. Five million, you know. Shit, bro, mm. I felt like the world most dumbest goddamn criminals now. I look back on it. You know what I mean? Right. But anyway, so, yeah, so, yeah, you'd be surprised who it is, my friend. Yeah. Motherfucker talking about he was an investor and all this shit that gave to the lawyer and all this, you know, so 